Don Rickles is always a very busy man. Starting tomorrow, you'll hear Don's voice in the new animated film called Quest for Camelot. On June 5th, he appears in a brand new motion picture called Dirty Work, and he'll be headlining Harris Reno May 21st through May 24th. And it's always a pleasure to welcome Don to CBS. And thanks for coming over, especially tonight, because this is strictly between you and me. You can say anything you want tonight, and nobody will, nobody will know. I don't think that. You really don't? I think I'm important, and you're certainly important. Yes, I am. To me, the world doesn't get off. Jerry Seinfeld is wonderful. The show is wonderful. But I know a few people that say, I don't want to watch that. Yeah. I mean, and those that watch us will fall in love with us, because you and I are, are Charlie Dynamite. Adorable. Adorable. Hello, America. <laughs> I mean, don't worry about it. I, I want to I call you Grandpa Donnie. You're going to be a grandpa, aren't you? Yeah, do you believe me? Yeah, I do. And all I wear, when my daughter told me, I said, if the kid gets one spot on the pants, I walk. <laughs> <laughs> that, is my, that is my biggest worry, that the kid's going to go, Dad, Grandpa, boom, a little mustard on the no, pants. No, so what do and you I gotta care? And I've got to punch the kid out. Ah, I mean, so what do you care? You know, I've had a granddaughter for eight years now, and you're in for the greatest treat of your life. They tell me that. Oh, it's Meanwhile, wonderful. I took eight Valium, and I'm laying down a lot. <laughs> when did you get the news? <laughs> Well, she called, and uh, I, I, I had a hint about it, but uh, we didn't know for sure. It, it all happened. She, uh, she, uh, she, she told her mother. Most, most of, of course, her mother. Of course. And my wife said, don't tell her. But Mindy is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I thought Mindy had a twitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, she did. <laughs> yeah. Well, her husband had. You know, he made a move one night, and bango. Anyway, so now uh, it came back to me. I don't know exactly how it happened, but I knew. And it was funny. I didn't react the way I thought I'd react. You know, a lot of people come up to me and they go, hey, Don, you're going to be a grandpa. Yeah. And you know, Tom, and I, and I love my daughter. She's a wonderful kid. But I wasn't like, I was like, yeah, great. Uh, in other words, I, it hasn't really you sunk know, in, right? Till yeah. the kid's in the room with a spoon going, wah, you know, <laughs> and the farina's on the pan. <laughs> when that little kid, boy or girl, smiles at you the first time, you will melt like butter in a frying pan. They uh, are, oh, they are so good. They're so good. And the great the money thing, I got to come up with. Yeah, but the great thing about the grand and good you got it, huh? Yeah, yeah. But the you great thing. But yes. <laughs> we always check before people come on. Yeah. And the great thing about a grandchild is when you absolutely can't stand the kid anymore, with the butter on the pants or whatever you say to her mother, your daughter, get her out of here. Mm -hmm. Next, you take her home, mm -hmm. and you and Barbara have a nice time. Now, all said and done, it's, uh, and I got late, uh, married late in life, and uh, I was 38, you know, hunting, searching, you know. I felt like I was on safari, you know. And I kept wandering around with it, you know, going, psst, little girl. And finally, I met my wonderful wife. So I was 38 years old. So now to be a grandfather at this stage of life, you know, it's, it's great. It's a bonus. It's it a really great bonus. It really is. You know, we were in New York doing this show a couple of weeks ago. And I, all of us have favorites there. All of us who went back have favorite places to go to eat and to drink and whatever. What were your favorites when you lived and worked in New, in New well, York? Which I think you know, Tom, because you were around in those days. Danny's Hideaway. Oh, that was sure, the place where sure. Danny took care of all the actors. Yeah. All the actors. I mean, you come. He used to come to the Copa when I worked in the Copa Cabana, and he used to bring a table for every actor. Your opening night, all 20, 30 people, and sit right in the front. And you say good evening. Ah, terrific. Yeah. And Danny's Hideaway always comped a check. And I wasn't looking for that, but in those days, he was the most gracious host. And Danny's Hideaway was the was was New York. That oh, was, it was the hot. Thing. It, it was New York. Uh, late night, you know, yeah. supper. That, that, that absolutely. That sort of thing. And you and Barbara were married in New York, were you not? It, no, we were married in Brooklyn. Or Brooklyn. Well, that's Ocean New York. Parkway, and it was uh, my my manager at the time was a fellow called Joe Skindori, uh, rest his soul. And he we had this uh, wedding in Brooklyn, and we had all Italians on one side and all the Jews on the other. And the Italians <laughs> come up with uh, bags of money, and the Jews came up with a tie. And so uh, it, was a, it was a wonderful arrangement, and I couldn't say anything because I didn't want to start my car and have problems. Yeah. <laughs> so, and in those days, they all came to the wedding and went, well, we should look. They all talked like they were horse. Yeah. I don't know why, you know. <laughs> Gunpowder was pooping over the lip. Yeah. <laughs> but I pretended everything was normal, you know. But I had all those kind of guys. You, you mentioned a name, and I know this man uh, when he worked with you, Joe Standori, yeah. rest his soul. Mm -hmm. He'd always say, you know, Don would be happy to come on. You know, you have that high-pitched yeah. voice. He was such a cute guy. He's an Italian puppet. How did you find him? Huh? How did you find Joe Standor, <laughs> your manager? It was during a bank robbery. <laughs> 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 no, I found him. He, he saw me a long time ago at a place called the Elegant. Now my manager is Elliot Weissman, who is a good friend of Joe's. Mm -hmm. And when I do that all the time, oh, how are you, sweetheart? You know, he falls on the floor. <laughs> and that's the way Joe talked, as you did. You know, Joe was known for that. Yeah, yeah. He was a, quite a man. But... Uh, Elliot Weissman now is my manager, and we're very happy, and uh, uh, I miss Joe for his great sense of humor. Yeah, he was a funny, funny guy. Anyway. Now, when you played the Copa, who was in the house? What kind of a crowd would come in there when you played the Copa back you in the You ever hear Joey Gallo? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 
Hold it down, huh? My mother, rest her soul, she was great. Joey Gallo one night said, come on, sit with us. And we sat down at the table, and there were guns around. You know, mm -hmm. in those days, guns. And I said to my, my, to my mother, I said, Mom, these guys got guns. She said, they're wonderful people. <laughs> these are the people that are going to make you a star. <laughs> you and a star. star. Did you do it? Yeah, my wife does that. They all do that. Oh. Jewish women do that. They're tasting chopped liver while they're talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, ah. Uh, <laughs> you know, look, look how he's cracking himself up. You know what? You're so cute. We have no audience. <laughs> I mean, I'm a riot. <laughs> You're hot. I've got one, one grip sitting there going, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Dress up, huh? <laughs> anyway, this guy's sitting there with a moose shirt and a dead deer on his lap. <laughs> anyway, so, uh. Uh, these guys were great. And, and those guys, it was, I don't want to use the word mob, you know. It, it, I just saw that movie the other night, you know. That, that yeah, the one on, uh, about the About Swedes. Gotti and all. But, hey, a lot of, in my day, those men were terrific for me. They, I, I don't mean Gotti in a sense, but the, the whole atmosphere. Those guys ran the clubs, and they were such gentlemen. Mm -hmm. They really were mm -hmm. entertainers. And Sinatra would be the first one to say it. Yeah, and poor Frank, in those days, you know, they used to pick on him because he would be this guy, with that guy, that but those are the fellas that were in the nightclubs. Mm -hmm. They ran you the know, club. Yeah. That's exactly right. And Jules Podell, that's the show. He was the best nightclub owner. You remember Jules Podell. Sure. And he used to sit there and go, oh. and I pretended like I understood him. <laughs> 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 and I went home at night and said to her, wife, you want to, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she went, she went. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't need that, Tom. <laughs> I did it very funny, but we didn't need okay. that. <laughs> Just do what you do best. Interview me and shut up. <laughs> okay. Okay, Tom. Wife, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in heat tonight. She's going to lay there and go, <laughs> find your own dinosaur. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's hot tonight. Don Rickles. But well, you're worried about Seinfeld. He, he, he's got $6 billion. He's sitting in New York chasing that, uh, that young girl, and uh, that's it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Well, don't worry about it. We're here and we're hot. Right. right. Don Rickles will be at Harris in Reno on May the 21st. And by the way, yes. touring all summer with Joan Rivers. Touring all summer with the one, the only, She's the, the greatest. The inimitable. I'm delighted to Joan share the stage. Rivers. Right. Now, we, she opened for you, is that? We don't have an open for We We share the, the billing Good. and so forth. Yeah. Some nights I open, some nights she opens, and boom, we, we alternate, you know. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and she's great because she's got a wonderful life. She's got a lot of jewelry, tons of money, and there's no problem. I just keep running after her car saying, drop something on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> just drop a few bucks. She's a wonderful girl. I'm Back with Don Rickles uh, after these messages. <laughs>